I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's time for this week's bonus word tip. Here's a trick that saves me lots of time. What you see in this document is a print date field. You can tell it's a field when you click on it or select it. See the gray? That's a telltale sign of a document field, and in this case, the field represents a date. It isn't the current date, or what you see in the document right here, but it's rather the date when the document is printed. For example, today is May 3rd. You don't see that date here because the last time I printed this document was on May 1st, but I'll print the document now. On the printed copy, you see the current date, which is great, because every time I print this document, the hard copy shows the current date, the date on which it was printed. To insert this useful print date field, position the cursor where you want the date to appear, such as at the top of your document. Choose the Insert tab. In the text group, click the Quick Parts button. It's this little guy here. Choose Field. In the Field dialog box, select the Time and Date category, and then choose the Print Date field. Select a format, which is how the date's going to show up in your document when printed. Click OK to insert the field. This is the field, but it's blank, not a date. That's because the document hasn't been printed, duh. And if you see this type of text, press Alt F9 to switch back to see the field, which again is gonna look like this until the document is printed. These codes are replaced by the date on which you print. And you don't need to freak out if you open the document and you see this format or you see a date on which it was last printed. That's how the print date field works. It's only updated when you print the document. <laughs>